Aflatoxin is a harmful substance that can contaminate many crops, including maize and groundnuts. It is important to understand where aflatoxin comes from and how to control it so that we can protect human health and trade. Aflatoxin comes from a fungus or mold that grows on kernels or nuts. This fungus can infect nuts in the field and spread during the growing season or in storage later. While we can see the fungus, we can't see aflatoxin. Once food is contaminated with aflatoxin, we can't clean it away by washing or cooking. Fungus spores or seeds are everywhere, especially in the soil. So we do what we can to avoid conditions that allow the fungus to attack groundnut and produce aflatoxin. Because the fungus thrives in hot and dry conditions, it's important to plant your groundnut crop on time. This allows the crop to mature in the rainy season and be ready to harvest before the dry season begins. Plant at the proper density so that plants can shade the ground and keep soil cooler. Harvest the crop promptly. Pods that remain in the ground too long are more likely to become infected with fungus. Once groundnuts are harvested, dry the crop properly by turning them over in the field after they are dug so that the nuts are up in the air for a few days. After the nuts have dried some, pluck them and dry further on a tarp. Sort out the damaged or discolored nuts. Store the good nuts in the shell in clean, dry bags. Store the nuts away from pests. When insects and animals damage groundnut sacks, they allow moisture in that can lead to fungus. Pods that are damaged also are susceptible to fungus and aflatoxin. Never allow the nuts to get wet again either by rain or soaking before shelling them. Anytime the nuts are wet, fungus can grow. When the nuts are shelled, sort them again. Shrunken or discolored nuts could be dangerously contaminated with aflatoxin and should never be fed to people or livestock. By following good practices, you can help to minimize aflatoxin and get nutritious ground nuts to your family and customers. Remember to plant on time to avoid drought. Dry nuts appropriately. Follow good storage practices. Sort out and destroy damaged or discolored nuts. These steps will help reduce the risk of aflatoxin in ground nuts.